Welcome to today's episode of Vitals, where we're going to be talking about freezing. Even if you think you know what freezing is, chances are you'll pick something up from this video. First, we'll talk about what freezing is, then why to do it, how to set it up, maintain it, and counter an opposing freeze. We'll wrap up with some cool tricks you can use to get a leg up on the competition and end with a recap of what we've covered to cement any gaps in your learning. So what is a freeze? Many people like to overcomplicate this. Freezing is when both minion waves meet at a particular point in the lane and neither wave can push for an extended period of time. There's a few situations in the game where this happens naturally, like when the first minion waves clash. To freeze means to do something to the wave in order to create the situation we just mentioned, where the wave isn't moving in one direction or another. Before we talk about how to freeze, let's talk about why you'd want to. I mean, what's the point of freezing anyway? Think visually about what a freeze does to a lane. Consider yourself on blue side. A wave being frozen anywhere in this area between the middle of the lane and your allied blue turret sets the situation up where two things happen. First, you're close to the safety of your turret. Second, your opponent has to extend past the middle of the lane to get to you and to the wave. With the state of the lane in mind, freezing can be used to set up many advantageous scenarios. For example, you can use a freeze to extend an existing lead. Since the enemy has to overextend to get to you, they have to make one of two bad choices. First, they could enter your territory and have much further to run to their tower. If you're ahead, it can be assumed that you'll win a 1v1 fight against them. You can leverage this to either straight up kill them, push them out of lane, or prevent them from coming to get the minions. They could also decide to not overextend, and instead do something else like get jungle camps, roam, or twiddle their thumbs at the turret. Whatever they decide to do, they're losing XP and gold from the minions dying to the freeze. If they end up leaving the lane, throw up your MIA ping and kick back. You've already done enough. On the other side of the coin, if you find yourself behind, you can use a freeze to mitigate your deficit. While your opponent has to overextend to get to you, you'll be close to your turret by nature. Think about what you would want to do if you were ahead. The answer would probably be to duel and punish your opponent. If you're freezing near your turret, your opponent can't really duel you, and you can decide to step up from the safety of your turret and be vulnerable. The benefit of this is that you can waste a ton of their time and slow down or even prevent a snowball from happening. The last key thing freezing does is shield you from their jungler. The reason is both psychological and strategic. If you've ever played jungle in solo queue, a high health laner next to their turret is probably one of the most unappetizing things to gank. Strategically speaking, if they do end up trying to gank you, utilizing the turret can give you a lot of 1v2 potential. There's a lot of really cool things you can do with freezing, but those were the core benefits. As you watch our dailies, you'll find even more intricate things that you can do. For now though, let's think about how to set up the freeze. At the start of the game, as the minions clash, there's six on each side. Each wave has the same damage, health, and same reinforcement distance from their spawn point. Left untouched, the waves will stay frozen in the middle of the lane with only a bit of variance. To freeze, you first need the wave to be pushing towards you. To put it simply, there needs to be more damage going onto your wave than your wave is putting out. When there's an equal number of minions on both sides, all you need to do is let your opponent hit the wave. If you want to freeze at the start of the game, just last hit and let the wave come to you. Once the wave is where you want it to be in the lane, you need to start doing things to the wave to keep it in that spot. The things you have to do change a bit depending on where you want to freeze. It might sound vague, but it's going to be super simple after you know these facts. If the freeze you want to go for is in the middle of the lane when the waves clashed and there's even minions on both sides, you're done. That's all you have to do. Or that would be if you didn't have the enemy laners to worry about. Even then, what you have to do is pretty simple. Whenever the enemy champion or champions put damage on the wave, you match that damage with your own. They auto, you auto. But what if I want to freeze closer to my turret? We call this a recess freeze because it's in a recess spot from the middle of the lane. It's a bit harder to pull off, but has more rewards. We've already done the boring math, so here's the thing you want to take away. As you freeze closer to the turret, you're freezing closer to the spot where your allied minions spawn. Allied minions will then take less time to reinforce while enemy minions will take longer. Because of this, your allied minions will replenish faster and have done more damage by the time the enemy reinforcing minions start to fight. This is the reason that 6 minion versus 6 minion freezes only work in the middle of the lane and not when the freeze is closer to your turret. The amount of additional enemy minions you'll need to keep the wave frozen increases the closer you get to where your minions spawn. Here's what that looks like. The amount of extra enemy minions you need can be anywhere from 1 to 3 depending on how far your freeze is from the middle of the lane. If you've ever heard someone tell you to thin the wave out, think of this as a way to tell how much you should be thinning it. Now you know how to freeze, but what if your opponent freezes against you? In all honesty, it's a really strong strategy, and as you climb the ladder, more players will use it against you. You want to avoid this happening whenever possible, so here's how you can stop it. 
First, think back to how we'd defend our own freeze, matching their damage. Now we're in the position where we're being frozen against. To counter this, we want to overwhelm our opponent with damage onto the minion wave. This will cause an imbalance in the damage being dealt, which will then cause the wave to be crashing to the turret. Again, if you're in the position of the person freezing the wave, you want to do everything you can to stop the enemy from crashing your wave into the turret. When you spot someone trying to crash your freeze, pay attention to their ability usage. If they commit a rotation to push the wave, odds are you have an opening to strike. Now we've covered what freezing is, why to do it, as well as how to execute it, maintain it, and counter it. There's also a couple tricks you can learn to make your ability to freeze just that much more potent. The first is knowing how to avoid a minion hit. This is where you wait for minion autos that would otherwise kill an enemy minion you want to last hit. After the autos have been fired, you then finish the minion off at the last second. The point in doing this is that you've saved the next enemy minion from taking damage from those autos. This is even more important to do when there's even minions on both sides because you want to do as little damage to the enemy wave as possible. Sometimes the wave will get pushed to your freezing spot before your allied minions end up showing up. When this happens, you can stand at your freezing spot and press S. This will keep you still without auto attacking and the minions will use you as a scratching post instead of suiciding into your turret and causing the lane to be reset. It's important to note that you'll take damage doing this, so you don't want to do this when you're either super low, being actively damaged and threatened by your opponent, or the wave is just really gigantic. That's about it. The core part of this video is now over, but stick around for the recap. You'll retain the concepts better, and it will be easier to replicate them in-game. Freezing is where two waves meet and stay in the same spot over a long period of time. Freezing can be used to extend a lead, shore up a deficit, and defend you against ganks while putting your opponent in a dangerous position. Setting your freeze up is all about doing less minion damage than your opponent, having a smaller allied minion wave, and then balancing the damage after the wave is in the right spot. The further recessed your freeze is on the map, the more enemy minions you'll need to maintain it. Opposite to maintaining a freeze, countering a freeze is all about imbalancing the damage onto the wave with abilities and autos in order to crash it into the turret. You can make a leaner freeze work by avoiding projectiles by last hitting at the last second. You can also delay minions that have been pushed too quickly by body blocking with the S command. That's it for this one.